Hello, and welcome to our lesson on the binomial expansion. So this is the second lesson in the binomial series. And in our previous lesson, we used Pascal's triangle to discover the n choice r button on our calculators. And just to help you remember, this is this button here, the n choice r. So we have to press shift and then divide. So if we look at question a, we're going to expand one plus x to a power of seven. So for this question, the value of n will be 7, which is this 7 here. And the r term will change as we progress through the sequence. So the first term in our sequence will be 7 choice 0 of this 1 to the power of 7, multiplied by this term here, this x term, to the power of 0. Our second term in the expansion will be 7 choice 1 of this 1 to the power of 6 multiplied by the x term to the power of 1. And as we progress through the sequence, you can see we're going to have 7 choice 2 for our third term. And if you look at these two powers, they always add up to the n value. And the first term, the 1 term, decreases by 1, and the x term increases by 1. So they always add up to 7. So now we'll have 1 to the power of 5 multiplied by x to the power of 2. Our third term, 7 choice 3 of 1 to the 4 multiplied by x to the 3. So now we have less. We can tidy this up. And I'm going to use the end choice R button to work out each of these terms. So 7 choice 0 is equal to 1. So this is 1. 1 to the 7 is also 1. And anything to the power of 0 is also 1. So all of this becomes the 1. For the next term, we're going to use 7 choice 1. So 7 choice 1, which gives us 7, 1 to the power of 6, which is 1, and x to the power of 1, which is just x. For our next term, 7 choice 2, so we'll press 7, and then we shift, the division, and the 2, and we get 21, of 1 to the 5, which is 1, and then x squared, so 21 x squared. And our fourth term, 7 choice 3, which is 35, of 1 to the 4, and x cubed, so 35 x cubed. So this is the first four terms of our expansion for question A. Okay, let's try question B. So for question B, n is equal to 9, given by this power here. So our first term will be 9 choice 0 of this 1 to the power of 9 multiplied by this x term. And this x term is negative 3x. So negative 3x to the power of 0. The next one, 9 choice 1 of 1 to the 8 multiplied by the negative 3x to the power of 1. And again, you can see the powers are adding to make the 9. So our next term, 9 choice 2 of 1 to the 7 multiplied by negative 3x squared. And our final term, 9 choice 3 of 1 to the 6 multiplied by negative 3x all cubed. So our first term, 9 choice 0, should be 1, but we can check that, which is 1. 1 to the 9 is 1, and negative 3x to the 0 is still 1. So this is all 1. Our next term, 9 choice 1, we'll just delete the 0, and we'll press 1, and we get 9. So this is 9. 1 to the 8 is 1, and then negative 3x. So I'll put the negative 3x in brackets. 
for 9 tries 2. Again, I'll just delete the 1 now, and I'll put in the 2, and we get 36. So plus 36, and then we've got negative 3x all squared. Now negative 3x is 9, so it's 9x squared. So 36 lots of 9x squared. And then 9 tries 3, we'll delete the 2, we'll put in the 3, and we get 84. So plus 84, negative 3x all cubed, but the negative 3 cubed is negative 27, and then the x cubed. So 84 lots of negative 27 x cubed. So now we'll tidy this up a little bit further. We've got 1, 9 times negative 3 is negative 27 x. 36 times 9 is 324 x squared. And 84 times negative 27 is negative 2268 x cubed. So these are the first four terms of this expansion. Okay, let's try question C. So for question C, we know that n is equal to 8. So our first term will be 8 choice 0 of 1 to the power of 8 multiplied by negative x over 2, which is our x term, to be 0. Our second term, 8 choice 1 of 1 to the 7 multiplied by negative x over 2 to the 1. Our third term, 8 choice 2 of 1 to the 6 and then negative x over 2 squared. And our fourth term, 8 choice 3, 1 to the 5 and then negative x over 2 to the 3. So we can tidy this up. We know this will be 1 as well as and negative x over 2 to the 0 is also 1. 8 choice 1 is 8. We know this is 1 and this is negative x over 2. 8 choice 2 is 28. And then negative x over 2, all squared. Well, negative times a negative is a positive. And we'll square the 2, so we'll get x squared over 4. And for our fourth term, 8 choice 3 is 56. And then negative cubed is a negative. x cubed, we can write here. And then 2 cubed is going to be 8. So negative x cubed over 8. So now we can tidy this up. We've got 1. 8 times negative a half is, is negative 4x. The 28 divided by 4 is going to be 7. So 7x seven squared. An eighth of the 56 is 7. And that will be a negative 7. So negative 7x cubed. So here we have the expansion for question C. Okay, let's move on to question D. So to use the binomial expansion, we need it in the form of 1 plus x to the n. And you can see that we have a 3 here. So to write this, in this form, we're going to factorise out the 3. So we have 3 multiplied by 1. And then to get the x, we're going to write this as x over 3. And all of this, it's raised to a power of 10. And then we can expand out the 3 with a power of 10. So we have 3 to the 10 multiplied by 1 plus x over 3 to the 10. And now we can use a binomial expansion with less. So we have 3 to the 10 and then 10 choice 0 of 1 to the 10 multiplied by x over 3 to the 0 and then 10 choice 1 of 1 to the 9 and then x over 3 to the 1 plus 10 choice 2 multiplied by 1 to the 8 and then x over 3 squared and then our fourth term 10 choice 3 of 1 to the 7 and x over 3 cubed.
and we'll close that bracket. So now we can tidy this up. We've got 3 to the 10. We know this will be 1. We know this will be 10 times 1 times x over 3. So 10x over 3. Our third term, 10 choice 2 is 45. And this is x squared over 9. So 45 divided by 9 is 5. So we have 5x squared. And our fourth term, 10 choice 3 is 120. And then we have x cubed over 3, which is x cubed over 27. And we can simplify the 120 and the 27. So we get plus 40x cubed over 9. So now, when we expand out the 3 to the 10, we get 59 farther than 49 plus 196,830x. For the x squared term, plus 295,245x squared. And for our fourth term, 262,440x cubed. Okay, let's try one final question. Okay, so here we have an exam style question. And we've been asked to find the first four terms in ascending powers of x of a binomial expansion of 2 plus px to a power of 8. And then for part b, given that the coefficient of the x cubed term in the expansion is negative 28, find the value of p. So we'll begin with part a, where we're going to expand 2 plus px to the power of 8. So the first thing we'll do is we'll factorise that with 2. So we have 2 lots of 1 plus px over 2 all to the power of 8. And now we'll multiply that with 2 and the power. So we have 2 to the 8 and then 1 plus px over 2 to the power of 8. So now we can find the first four terms of this expansion. So we have 2 to the 8, and then we know 8 choice 0 will be 1, 8 choice 1 will be 8, then we'll have px over 2 to the power of 1, 8 choice 2 is 28, and then px over 2 r squared, and then 8 choice 3 is 56, and that's px over 2 all cubed and then we'll close that bracket so 2 to the power of 8 is 256 and then we have the 1 and then 8 divided by 2 is 4 so 4px four 2 squared is 4 so 28 divided by 4 is 7 so 7p squared x squared 2 cubed is 8 56 divided by 8 is 7, so 7p cubed, x cubed. And now we'll multiply everything by 256. So we get 256 plus 1024px plus 1792p squared, x squared. And then finally, the same, but p cubed x cubed. So that's part A. Part B, given that the coefficient of the x cubed term is negative 28, find the value of p. So what we've been told is that, that this term here, 1792 p cubed is equal to negative 28. Work out the value of p. Well, we'll divide both sides by 1,792. So p cubed will be minus 1 over 64. We'll cube root both sides. These will cancel. So p will be negative 1 quarter. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.